Hi love bugs! So today I'm actually going to get out my June favorites for you guys. This is more like a June beauty favorites backfire on a lawnmower. Thank you neighbors. Um, this will be June beauty favorites and I'm just going to get right into it. Um, I will say that what I'm wearing on my eyes is not part of my favorites. I usually try to wear my favorites in my monthly favorite videos but I bought a new palette yesterday, and if anybody's wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, it is the NYX Avant palette in the color Nouveau Chic, or in the name Nouveau Chic. There's three of them, and right now at Ulta, um, NYX Cosmetics are 40% off, so it's normally $16.99, and if you follow me on Instagram, you will already see that I only paid $5.46 for mine because I had a 20% off coupon on top of $3 in points and the 40% off sale. So anyway, getting right into it, I just threw them all in my Ulta bag from yesterday because I was like, I don't have anywhere to put this. But I have been reaching for the whole month last month, the uh, La Nude Palette 2 by L'Oreal. And these are just really beautiful mauve pink toned shades that really complement my eye color. The back is pretty helpful too for beginners. So it's a really good palette. These retail at Ulta for $20. Um, right now these are also 40% off. So I think they end up coming to like $10.99. And then you can use your 20% um, off coupon. And if you have points, you can get it for even cheaper. I've also been reaching for, and I can't believe I'm going to put this in a video because I had to give this like a second chance and a third chance and a fourth chance before I actually really liked it. Um, it's the Blushed Nudes by Maybelline. It does show some helpful tips on the back of this one as well, but um, these are not really super pigmented if you ask me and you really have to work with the colors, but the colors that are in here, like the shimmery ones are really beautiful and I really love using them. The L'Oreal Le Nude palettes are way more pigment pigmented than the Maybelline nudes palettes. I do have the um, just the nudes and the blush nudes so if you want to pick in between either of those I would definitely choose the L'Oreal ones over the Maybelline. Um, another favorite is obviously this was in my last month's favorite it's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Contouring Palette. Um, this one is in the shade Dolce De Liche and um, I use the last month I had the caramel toffee one in my favorites I believe but you can see I've hit pan on the highlighter as well these highlighters are so amazing in here they're just completely matte and I actually don't use them as a highlighter I use them as like an under eye setting and um, a concealer setting if I have to set my concealer um, I also absolutely love this shade I do have both of these on right now so $3.93 at Walmart, super affordable. Um, I don't recommend them for dark skin tones because they're not all that dark. I'm pretty fair complected, even more so without my tan, but it works well. This was also in my last one's favorite. It's a repeat offender. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Trio in Sunset Junction. You know, I'm pretty sure I swatched these for you guys before, but I can stick my fingers in them again. This highlighter is so amazing and the blush is and the bronzer is I mean look at those they are so pigmented and they just work so smoothly on the face I cannot get enough of them and especially the highlight I use the highlight more than anything out of here I'm so sorry my neighbor decided to mow his freaking lawn right now Ugh, so annoying I hope that you guys can hear me and that doesn't bother you Another favorite I've been loving is the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi. I actually switched back to this because I felt like this held the longest on my skin. Ugh, do I need better lighting? And it does give you like a luminous glow. I am wearing this today without a primer. Um, I have the day off so I kind of felt like I'm not going to be working and sweating and it's not like super hot out right now so it's not too bad. But I got mine in the shade W5 Warm, and it is called Sand Beige. I switched this because it is actually darker, and all of my other foundations are still really light, and I'm starting to get like that pretty bronzy tan, so I needed something a little darker, and that's what I wore over the summer, um, or towards the end of summer last year, because I was getting pretty dark. 
The next favorite is this NYX HD Concealer, and I got mine in the shade CW02 Fair, and it just looks like this. To me, this is like the most amazing concealer. For me, it does not cake, and I've been having problems with it going under my eyes and it caking up, but it just really covers under eye circles and it's just very brightening under the eyes. Now, I would get this in a different color if you are a darker skin tone because this is way white, but it works for me because I am pasty white. Next favorite is my Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Puff Eye Roller. After I wash my face every single day, I use this and I just go under my eyes. This is a repeat offender. I forgot to put it in my last month's favorites, but it doesn't matter because it's probably gonna be in my every single every month favorite and the next item I've been loving is the voluminous Miss Manga rock mascara and I got mine in the shade black the bristles are so flippin weird Ooh, there was like a hair or something on there and I don't know what it is about it but I absolutely love it I am wearing that on my eyelashes today and every time I wear this and post a picture on Instagram for you guys everybody is like oh my god your lashes what mascara are you wearing Majority of the time, it is this right here, and I absolutely love it. I probably will punch the person that says that they don't like this. Um, I do have long lashes already as it is, so, you know, I guess maybe that helps out a little bit. Next repeat offender, the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner. I am wearing this today. I mentioned last month that I had to purchase a new one. Um, Ever since I grabbed this, the dollar store, I have not used anything else. This is my life, my baby, and again, it's only a dollar, so, so good. Uh, next favorite is, I don't know why I switched to this because I usually wear like a pink blush, but this is the Milani Baked Powder Blush in 05 Luminoso, and it is just this gorgeous peach color, and if you're feeling like you don't want to be too highlighty, you don't have to add a highlight because this is like the perfect shiny peach color. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. And it is so pretty and it has like a luminosity to it. So when you put it on your cheeks, your cheeks just look like they're glowing. And I do have that on today as well. And then this is going to be a shock to you guys. And I hope that you guys go out and purchase this after you watch my video because this has been absolutely amazing. Everybody's been asking me lately what highlight I wear like in person, not on Instagram. For some reason on Instagram, when I take pictures, my highlight doesn't show up. I guess I don't turn my face the right way. However, this is the Ulta eyeshadow in the shade In The Buff. That is what it looks like, front of the package. And I put this on my cheeks as a highlight. What's really funny is I have actually never tried um, the Balm Cosmetics Mary Luminizer, but I bought this eyeshadow and I still had it swatched on my hand at the store. And when I went into Kohl's, I did not know that they sold the Balm products. And I swatched the Mary Luminizer highlighter right next to this. I did post this on Instagram as a dupe and it looked the exact same texture and everything so if you guys want an amazing highlighter that is super inexpensive I think these run like four dollars this is the shade in the buff and it's by Ulta so amazing I've absolutely been loving it I am wearing it today but I don't know if you guys can see it right there because my camera sucks and then the last thing that I got is um, by ColourPop. This is their lippy sticks. I've been using these like crazy and this is in the shade Pepper and they just come in a little tube like this and then the product twists up. I'm wearing this right now. I really wanted to include the other one by ColourPop that is actually my true favorite, but I cannot find it. Um, my house was just cleaned, so I'm not sure where it ended up, so I will have to locate it. It probably actually fell out of my pocket into my car. Um, but my real true favorite is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Skimpy. And Skimpy is a gloss finish, and it's a nude color, and it looks so perfect on my skin tone, and I absolutely love it. Um, this one says it's a matte, but I do. I purchased five of these at the same time, and all of the ones that say matte are extremely drying, except for this one. I would say this is more of a satin because it does not feel like it dries out my lips as much. So anyway, that is everything that I have for you in my 
June favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye!